What's up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about Doctor Who because, well, the ratings keep dropping with Wild Blue Wonder, new David Tennant low. Uh, and what's been going on with uh, Doctor Who, it's actually something that it's very familiar in Hollywood right now. A lot of this stuff has just become too woke and people just don't seem to like you know their entertainment to feel like they're being preached at uh, and to be quite honest I think the biggest problem here is that a lot of the creative people that are behind these shows are a little more concerned with us messaging and certain you know narrative than they are with entertainment itself it really feels like uh, the shows are being made by activists and no longer by creative people I think that is the problem so what is going on with Doctor Who? Well, uh, in the first episode, there were a lot of complaints of the show being, you know, uh, not true to the original material, not honoring, uh, you know, they brought David Tennant back. And when you have a character that is beloved by the fans return to the show, you actually expect that character to be honored. And we not only have like characters kind of putting him down for being a man, but there's also a lot of other stuff there involving pronouns and things like that and I mean there were a lot of people in the comments saying that that was that was nothing new to Doctor Who but at the same time a lot of people don't seem to be liking that and they're just not showing up for the other episodes so something is going wrong here now what is happening in Wild Blue Wonder they did two things there is a hint that Doctor Who uh, is gay and they're also race swapped Eisen Isaac Newton and uh, I mean and this like I said it's not something new and the problem is not that he's gay now the problem is that this is a 60 year old franchise so this character has been around for a very long time and uh, there weren't hints that he was gay before so why is this coming out exactly now it's a bit weird and if I'm not mistaken he has had, he has had uh, a few girlfriends as well and the thing is that kind of stuff doesn't sit well with the fans because it's not that he is uh, gay it's the problem that they are doing this now only for a messaging purpose uh, it's not that something that is serving the story for instance and the fans are really not liking it uh, well, let's see what is this article saying. Not a surprise, it's certainly expected the Doctor Who ratings have dropped with the release of the second the second special, Wild Blue Wonder, marking a new David Tennant low. So the episode saw 4.83 million viewers uh, tune in. Last week's episode, The Star Beast, saw 5.8 million view viewers. There is a huge difference here, right? The drop is almost 5%, but it's still a drop nonetheless and not a good sign when the ratings are already a lot lower compared to David Tennant and Russell T. Davis' earlier years, which managed 10 million or viewers at the time. Well, 10 million, that's a lot, right? More fans didn't tune in for the second special after watching the return of Tennant. Like I said, if you didn't grab them in the first special and they did things with the character people didn't like, well, it's hard to keep people coming back, right? Uh, let's see, and some fans who watched the first special didn't bother to return, and you don't say. Normally the trend continues, so that could mean Tennant's last episode could see even fewer viewers. However, in his last episode, so it could be very well see a bump. That's true, we never know. It would be quite revealing if more viewers don't show up, I would think. Hmm. Wow. So yes, Doctor Who is not doing so well. And let's see the other article here. What are they saying? Doctor Who, David Tennant, now gay. Isaac Newton race swapped. Uh, I'm not a big fan when they do stuff like that because to me that's the fake progressivism that they do you know like that's just like lazy writing to me that you need to get established pre-established character and just race swap them or gender swap them or whatever uh, that's just not creative to me it's not progressive at all you know it's actually like lazy writing but that's just my opinion let's see Doctor Who David Tennant's now gay as reviewed in the second episode Wild Blue Wonder which is now available on Disney Plus okay continue from last episode Doctor Who and Donna go off on more adventure but Donna accidentally spilled coffee 
into the TARDIS. The pair crash land in England, uh, 1666, and happened to come upon Isaac Newton. Scratch that, an apparent race swapped Isaac Newton. Uh, the Doctor and Donna then got back inside the TARDIS, where they crash inside a spaceship and they walk down the corridor. Donna re remarks, was it me or was Isaac Newton hot? Mm. And then he replies, he was, wasn't he? He says, shaking his head in confirmation, he was so hot. Okay. The doctor crashes himself and says, oh, is that who I am now? So that was it. That's, that's the hint. Yes, it's not something, obviously, it's not like a huge confirmation, in my opinion. It's just sort of a hint, right? Now, before you think Doctor Who now uh, might be gay, before the regenerating to the Jodie Whittaker doctor who was uh, thought to be gay, Donna says she always saw him that way. Huh, that's so random, right? That she says that, but never said it. That's just very convenient. Well, it was never that far from the surface, mate. Re remarks uh, Donna. I always thought. Worth a mention is David Tennant, Doctor Who, who happened to fall in love with Rose Tyler and a version of him went with her in a different universe. So yes, he has been dating. So this is something uh, new. They're doing this now, right? And like I said, this is just like following the trend, which to me, it's what I like to call the fake progressive in which they uh, they want to do that kind of stuff because, oh, they really care about the minorities and all of that. When in fact, it's just to me, just lazy writing. Uh, and, and, and it's just to piss fans off that like the franchise or, or know that that's not really true to the character. Uh, I mean, they could have brought in another character that is gay and he just... And, and probably no one would say anything because uh, I'm sure that they has been already in the in the show but uh, instead they just want to hint to Doctor Who himself so yes that kind of stuff that it's probably having the fans drop the show but I don't know uh, if that's also the reason or maybe they're just they don't think the story's fun they're just not sticking around but i'd love to hear your thoughts drop your comments down below let me know what you think are you dropping the show are you continuing to watch do you think that this is just a great show do you like the writing uh do you think that what they're doing is the right direction do you mind that they're race swapping characters uh and, and that's the thing as well uh you have to remember isaac newton is a real was a real uh character right he's not fictional uh, so there is reason, no, there is really no reason to kind of do that. Uh, I think you can, we can be a little more forgiving when you're talking about, uh, fictional characters. Although to be quite honest, when we are talking about iconic characters, I really like them to be iconic because that's how you remember them. That's how you grew up watching them. And that would be for if they wanted to race swap Blade, for instance, I would not like that. If they wanted to race swap Black Panther, for instance, I would also not like that. Uh, so I think it should work both uh, ways. Uh, and like I said, the fact that they are changing Doctor Who now, and, and I understand why would make the fans upset because if it's not something that was never hinted at, uh, it's just, I mean, why you're doing this now is just weird. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.